6 o'clock, May 7th, sitting at a field in a blind, me and Marty, over near Ripley. I got a bird across the field that got one at us this morning and one uh, kind of to our right and behind us a little bit. Got a few nice avian X decoys out in front of us. And Earlier this week, Marty was able to put one on the ground. Had three come in and uh, I'm hoping that we can do the same thing. Maybe try to double up. I don't know. As long as I see a, a turkey, that'll probably be a, be a good morning for me. So uh, we'll check back in later, but uh, oh, there he goes right there again. See what see what happens. That close yet? Definitely don't be screaming that loud at him. Mm -mm. Something just came over the top of the diverting ditch. Is that him? Or Jake or whatever it is. Maybe it's a hen. It's a showdown, ladies and gentlemen. There's a tom on each side and a hen in the middle. She's dusting and digging at the dirt. See which one she chooses. <laughs> they going to watch? Not yet. <sighs> well, as you just saw. Birds running off. That wasn't us, I swear. The birds were over there still strutting, and uh, we got in here this morning. We heard some gobbles, so we walked in the field. And across the field is another ground blind. Well, Marty was looking over there. He caught something. He saw a guy and a kid standing over there, and uh, you know, it, they were 300 yards away, and it was already breaking light. We didn't really have time to walk all the way over there because we had birds gobbling at us. Just goes to show you that posted signs don't always keep people out. But they pretty much, unless we can get those birds working again, they pretty much just screwed up our hunt. So we're going to sit here for a little while, but I don't know much you can do about that. The hen flew off. I didn't get that on camera, but she flew off, and then those toms just started running right behind her, and they finally made it into the woods. Something spooked them. And we haven't seen the guy walk out yet, but I have to assume he came to the edge and uh, tried to take a peek where the birds were and they saw him, unfortunately, so. And the birds aren't gobbling either. They get off the roost and they've been just moseying around with that hen and they haven't said anything otherwise, so. I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to try it out, I guess. Sit here and wait. They decided to come take a nap in front of us. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna have to start practicing my calling and my setup because it's just not working. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> 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 
Oh. Folks, it's like <laughs> almost 11. We're still in the same spot because we didn't want to spook these birds because we had other birds working. And I, no joke, I've never had this happen before. We, this, this bearded hen has been in front of us for like three hours. She's left, came back, left, came back. Not even like, like when she leaves, it's only maybe a minute or two and then she comes back. I stepped out of the blind to go to the bathroom and walked around and came back in and she was still out there. I, I don't know what to do. You could call at her with any call and she just doesn't care. She's literally, I don't know, maybe 60 yards away right now. Just, just been dusting for three and a half hours. I don't know how dirty a bird could actually get, but that's a dirty bird. <laughs>